welcome my dear friend if this is the first time of watching the video please subscribe press on the subscribe button and share with family and friends it is very important to do that every dating the main motive in this dating is marriage so people date to find out if I can live with such a person. Now without the intention of getting married, married to the person or, or otherwise, I mean you can't date I mean you can't date someone because um you just want to be with the person, not for marriage. So every dating the main aim is marriage. But the question is not are all dating today ending in marriage or let me put it in this way why are so many dates not ending in marriage today we need to know yeah well you see one thing is that when you have the mind that not all dating will lead to marriage then you be careful as a lady when you are giving sex because giving him sex doing all this kind of you know house shows and all that and then he doesn't marry you you be saying that oh, he has wasted my time why because you thought that the main aim of doing those things cooking for him you know he having sex with you is because he will marry you that is why maybe probably you may be doing that and for the men too some of them they'll be taking care of the ladies paying their school fees and all that buying them brazilian hair with the notion that we will get married it is a, 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 I would say a misconception that is going on why is it a misconception because not all dating ends in marriage but the question is what are some of the reasons why this dating does not end in marriage now one reason is that when the relationship that's the first one when the relationship is sex oriented how do you have my email sex oriented when you see that the guy you are with is always interested in discussing about sex when are you coming to visit me when I, I when i come home to sleep with you and all that you see that you will be having unproductive discussions it will be sex 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 then you will see that this relationship you are in he is just for sex but not any serious you know uh, business of getting married or marry you yeah so you, this is one of the reasons why some of the relationship doesn't end in marriage because quite frankly by the time the lady realized that mm, I am with the wrong person the guy might have been sleeping with her for a longer time and then she will say I have been used and dumped it's one of the reasons why most relationship doesn't end in marriage and the second one is that when the person cannot take decision for him, him or herself there are some people when you they are dating or they are in a relationship they can't take decision for themselves they say one or two it is my mother one or two it is my father one or two it is my friend so they try to implement the decisions of the friends or the advice and put in the, of their friends in the relationship and when the partner gets to know that you are that kind of person the person will advise him or herself. Hence, the relationship will automatically end. Is one is the second reason why most of the relationship today does not end in marriage. Now, when we when we note this, it will help us to know how to handle the dating, not with the mind that oh, the guy I'm dating. By hook or crook, you marry you. No, 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 no. You must understand. 
Now, the, the third reason I will talk about is what you call the health issues, the genotype buhaha. When the man is AS and the woman is AS, the probability of them giving birth to SS, a sickler, is high. And if the woman is SS and the, woman, the man is AS, the probability of them giving birth to a sickler is very high. So, health professionals advise that you shouldn't marry such a person. Picture this. They begin a relationship. They will be sleeping here and there. And when they are about to get married, they are preparing to get married, then they go and check. Then they realize that we can't marry. So you see, this is an automatic reason by it own self, by the health principle that if that person is having that, you know, genotype, though you can continue to marry, but you will not be happy. And most people doesn't marry when they discover this genotype buhaha that I called. Yeah, so we should note that that by the start of the relationship, go and check your genotype. It will help you to know the steps to take. Though I know some people they dated for like two or three years, and then later I, I spoke to the guy, are you there? He said, No, we are no more there. And what happens is we went to check our genotype and then we couldn't match. But the probability of us giving birth to a secular is high. Wow. So we need to check the genotype. It is very, very important to check the genotype before we make that mistake. It's very important. Let's do that. Now, the um, the next reason I will also talk about it is that when you discover that the person you are with, you can't cope with the character. Okay, let's say that um, the lady disrespects you. Your guy abuses you. Chances are you may decide not to stay in that relationship or dating. Because that is the nature of the person. You can't leave the person. So you see that as time moves on, the relationship will not survive. As time moves on, the relationship will not hold. And then it will die a natural death. So you see that this dating did not end in marriage. It's one of the reasons. So, what well, I'm, I'm actually, you know, unveiling these reasons for you so that it will help you to, 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 you know, mark your steps when it comes to dating. Not to just give yourself out, not to just, as a man, give your money, all your, your time and everything, thinking that, oh, it is an automatic marriage. No, not at all. So, let's take note of that. And then the last reason, I call the fifth reason... Is that when both parents or one parent is against that marriage. And one typical example is when the issue of tribalism comes in. You are an Asante. I am a Fanti. You are a Votarian and all that. You see, this reason amounts to many people dating but not getting married. Why? Because the, the both parents are against that marriage because of the tribal. So you are, but sometimes, oh, you are um, from the north and all that. But sometimes it beats my mind when a person is from America comes to Ghana to marry someone from Ghana. They will not tell you it's distance or tribal issue because the dollars will be coming. <laughs> wow! So you see, because of the dollars, eh? Uh, they will never, they will never say that oh, we will not <laughs> and agree. They will agree because dollars are coming. But. If they say hey, Ghana, no plain, parents will gang up and say we won't allow you to marry the person. And sometimes to um some of the parents too, when they discover that the guy's character, maybe the, the way the guy behaves, one or two they, are, they will monitor and say, My dear lady, this guy will not help you. We will not approve such marriage. So sometimes parents also uh, becomes a barrier. Okay, or stop people from marrying the other. So the best thing to do is that to consult your parents first. Okay, when you are moving on with someone, ask them about it. And then this advice goes to your parents. If um if because of tribal mark that you are 
you know try to prevent your 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 um your boy or let's say that from marrying i would say is below the belt because these tribal things in christ shouldn't exist but it is sad that in the church today people are practicing of tribalism even in marriage so parents let's stick to the word of god we are one in christ if you are one in christ then we shouldn't discriminate that this person comes from this tribe, this person comes from this tribe. And because of that, I won't allow the person to marry my daughter. It is not the best at all. So let's desist from that. Yeah, so briefly, these are the five reasons uh, I thought of discussing uh, with you. But don't forget to subscribe. Press on the subscribe button and then share for family and friends to be educated uh, with the content we are having on this channel. And the channel's name is also for Akresi. I am the one speaking with you, your brother, your friend, your everything. Yeah, today we discuss about five points. Let me briefly summarize them. Number one, what are the reasons why most relationships or dating are not ending in marriage? One, when the relationship is sex-oriented, and two, when... Um, the person is not mature enough, cannot take decisions. Sometimes these uh, indecision causes conflict misunderstanding in these datings. And then when there's a health issue, this genotype, buhaha, and, and all that, that's the third point. And then the, the, the fourth point also is that when he or she discovers that there's a character I can't live with, finally, parents, when they gang up, they say that we are not going to allow you to marry the person. So these are the few. Uh, points I want to discuss with you why most relationship doesn't end in marriage. My prayer is that God be with you, guide you in your dating so that you he will prepare you for his soon coming kingdom. Have a good day. God bless you for watching. Shalom. Bye-bye.